On Sundays, the Flyover Indies community meets up to co-work together at the back of a coffee shop in the Westport District of Kansas City. It's always really cool to see what everybody else is working on and having that dedicated time to work on projects every weekend. Today, I started by writing up a simple design document to plan out what the theme of the game is, what kind of characters there will be, as well as listing out the graphical assets that I think I might need. I continued working on a mock-up view of the game, first by calculating that the HUD will take up one-fifth of the screen and setting up the rudimentary layout. To begin working on the window graphics, I started by taking the HUD width and using that as the width and height of my window graphics tile sheet. I divided the width by three to get enough space for four corners, four edges, and the center of the window. Then I began working on the golden border using just a base gold color and making sure it was shaped the same all the way around. Then shading each portion individually so that the lighting and shading would be more believable instead of just copy-pasting the same corner several times. After the window art was done, I assembled it in my mock-up to get a better view of what it would look like in the game. After that, I worked on the heart artwork to indicate the amount of lives remaining. I tried to make it look like a bunch of heart-shaped gems, and I had to mess around with the art a bunch to make it look like I had wanted it to. I made the art for a lost life look like a gem was missing. I may change up how the HUD looks later on, but this is a first pass at setting up some graphics to get a feel for the game. The next thing I worked on were the basic castle walls. The tile art in this game is going to be the good old 32 by 32 width and height. So for a brick wall, I divide the width in half and the height in quarters to make a single brick. Then, I paste my brick back into the 32 by 32 wall tile and assemble it so that every row is about halfway shifted from the previous one. I make really solid shading for these initial bricks, and then I go in and add some dithering pixels to make the bricks look more rough, instead of like weird glossy bricks. The wall tiles are already going to be repeated a lot in a wall, so I don't want each brick to be identical. Then I worked on wall tiles and ceiling tiles together, knowing that I will want 90 degree and 45 degree surfaces. I created a test tile sheet and a test map in the tiled map editor so that I could test out how these look together while I worked. When I work on the 45 degree angled walls, I set up two normal walls on either side to use as a reference point. I start by just copying the brick rows, testing it out to make sure they tile well together, and then adding the brick columns. I also made a 16x16 guide block to use on my background grid to help me figure out where to put these spaces in the brick. After the main brick layouts for one angle looked good, I flipped it for the other side as well. Then I shaded each separately so they remained consistent in their shading and lighting. I also adjusted one angle to be a little darker, and one angle to be a little lighter, so that together there was a better depth effect. After drawing the walls in the test sheet, I assembled it into my test tile set, which I really try to set up in a nice readable layout. I can then test it out in tiled some more and figure out what to work on next. So that's all I worked on this weekend. It's been a kind of a busy day. I have other plans and stuff I have to do, but Monday I'll do some more work on things and try to set up another video like this, where if it's art, just kind of talking through how I approach that, or if it's the programming, doing some of that. Um, the poll isn't over for which tool and library I should use, and currently there's a tie between C++ and SDL and C++ and SFML, so we'll see about that later. But that gives me time to work on graphics instead for a little bit. So um, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you.